Well, there's so much to see down here, and I'm puzzled by this one. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It says interpret, and I'm looking at a, a globe. Perhaps the whole world is represented by this structure. There seems to be a, a great range of plant material, and it's some really nice plants. And it looks like a mountain range at the top. So maybe it's the whole world encapsulated, showing that it's some finite thing, and we should really look after it. It's a bit heavy, isn't it? Or maybe it's something else. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, it's fun. Hey there, mates. I'm in Australia. Actually, I'm at the flower show, of course, and I'm here with my friend, the kangaroo. I'm gonna relax right here because I get to be a joey and hang out in the pouch. This adorable kangaroo is comfortable in her surroundings in the outback. Jennifer Designs created this piece that emphasizes sculptured composition and design by highlighting items in nature. This kangaroo is completely made of natural dried materials. The caramel colored grasses look exactly like fur. The marsupial's pouch is loaded with the vibrant flowers of the land down under. This display boasts the diversity of the flora in Australia. There's various hues of greens in the plants and grasses and the vibrant exotic orange flowers come in a variety of shades. The artist depicted the resilience of Australia after the devastating wildfires. If you're looking for inspiration with a smile, you'll get it at this display. Now this exhibit is really a first. I have never ever seen an artistic depiction of just how important soil is to the actual green world, to the living world. Now what it represents are the little trees growing up from this, but the intricate network below it is symbolic of all the bacteria, fungi, mites, whether it's a mineral or organic uh, substance, they're all united in their own ecological world, which is our active soil. So maybe too much of that. It's actually a very interesting thing to look at. I just love the little trees in these little balls. Presumably they're full of moss and a growing medium, but it really does catch your eye. And that's really what a good piece of artwork does. It makes you think about the world. And certainly soil is very, very important for all of us. How about this beautiful vignette, all made out of natural materials? It's a banquet scene. And Paul, look, there's a seat for you. This display is called Rooted and Gathered. It reminds us of what connects us together. The scene features a feast table set by woodland natives to welcome a weary traveler caught between the real world and nature. The inviting table setting has so much to enjoy. A little squirrel made of tightly wound vine with a fluffy plant tail offers his finest gatherings to the table. The figure at the table is light and airy, made of a wire frame. The mossy wood table is loaded with a feast of red flowers and dried pods. The dinner plates made of natural materials are perfectly placed. The grand buck sporting his beautiful twig antlers proudly drops in to partake of the woodland feast. The empty chair is waiting for you with its carefully crafted ladder back and intricately woven seat. Well, here's a garden that the designer comes from two different worlds. Uh, I think born in the Lebanon, Beirut, the Lebanon, and now lives in Philadelphia. So you've got aspects of that dry Mediterranean climate, hence the gravel, the table sitting on a rug, which until recently, you couldn't put a rug outside. It would start rotting quickly, but modern day materials allow that rug to stay outside. It makes it very inviting. But all the way around the outside, you'll see a typical urban Philadelphia planting. Lots of little perennials going on. There's even a set of uh, table and chairs, like a little cafe, Parisian cafe set, and planters all the way around it. So a little kind of place to get away from it all, even though you live in the middle of a busy city. Well, this garden is actually a brilliant combination of several things, a kind of more rural design, more looser planting. The plants actually used here, a bulk of them, are the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society's gold medal winners. And uh, if you don't know about them, they're an excellent selection of plants that we can use. A lot of them up here, just be careful though, some of them are more for the Philadelphia region, but a lot of them are excellent plants. It's a looser feel, and in the middle there's a focal point, the actual little fireplace. Now that fireplace is created with plants. There's no fire in it at the moment. They've created the kind of effect of a fire by using celosia with the red flowers. The grass, like the plume coming up from it, is a fountain grass. 
And of course, there are some marshmallows on the side for you to toast in their make. Well, let's not go too far on that. You're not going to toast on Celosia. Stay right here because we'll be back with more of the Philadelphia Flower Show when we return.